This state is one of 10 in the nation that still has not expanded Medicaid. Uh, Republicans and Governor Tate Reeves have been some of the loudest opponents, arguing that it would be little more than expanding welfare in this state. But that opinion could be changing. Expanding Medicaid coverage in Mississippi has been a no-go for a decade. Republican leaders, including Governor Tate Reeves, have contended that he would not sign off on adding more residents to the welfare rolls, but now both Senate and House leaders say it's time for Republicans to consider it. I think, and I'm sure the votes are there in the House for us to pass um, what I'm calling Mississippi CARES. There have been bills filed to cover some of the working poor people that are here and also require them to be working and also contribute. Republicans on both floors lead a super majority that now will consider expanding Medicaid coverage through the federal government's Affordable Care Act. It has been seen as a potential boost for struggling hospitals whose poor patients can't afford treatment. Some 250,000 working poor residents in the state would receive the health care coverage if they are working or trying to get a job and make under $20,000 a year. For a household of four, the threshold would be around 42000 The most important thing is the labor force participation rate, and I keep talking about that. That's the fact that only 53% of our people between 16 and 64 are actually working. I think it's foolish for us to not try to find a way, if we can, um, to cover hard-working, low-income Mississippians. Democrats, like State House member Ronnie Crudup Jr. of Jackson, say they are eager to see any form of Medicaid expansion, but until they see the details of the deal, they are guarded. I'm waiting to see where it's going to be the, you know, the final bill, what's the final say-so, the final agreement between the House and the Senate. Why would you be guarded? Well, we've talked about this a long time in the past, and it hadn't happened yet, so we're looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in the future. Yeah, the devil is always in the details, certainly when talking about the difference between a bill versus final legislation. But right now, the talk has been for state hospitals to cover some of that 10% 10, 10 match required to get that federal funding. But both the House Speaker and the Lieutenant Governor say if this measure were to be approved, the state of Mississippi could get an additional 500 to $800 million for health care for working poor in the state. We're live at the state capitol, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.